Hi folks, Dr. P here, and I'm going to talk about something that affects players, I suppose, but also affects designers, and that is an aspect of good strategy in games. And I don't mean military strategy in this case, although it can be that. I mean, what's a good strategy to succeed in the game, assuming that you want to win the game? And that is the difference between the long term and the short term. And I'm going to pose this in terms of negotiations, such as in a game like diplomacy. You can take the long term view or the short term view. Now, the modern attitude in, in the world is to take the short term view, the age of instant gratification. But patience is one of the most important things a leader can have when it comes to successful strategies, and patience is part of the long-term view. So to take the example of diplomacy, which is often seen as a big backstabbing game and a liar's game, you can play it that way. You can assume that your alliances aren't going to last very long, if at all. Or you can play it for the long term, which is the way I used to play when I played diplomacy. I would try to see the whole strategy for the entire game. Everything everybody does in diplomacy affects what you do. And if you're not familiar, it's a seven player game that roughly, roughly depicts World War I. Um, you may be England, but you've got to know what Turkey is trying to do because that will help you decide what you should do. Now, what I tried to do was figure out what the best alliance structure would be for the entire game and make an alliance with an agreement that at a certain time well into the future or when some supply center count was reached, then that alliance would expire and then we could fight it out for who would win the game. Although I was perfectly happy with a draw if I couldn't win because a draw is a partial win. Whereas when somebody else wins, you are a loser. You have lost. So I tried to take the long-term view and impress upon people that I was taking the long-term view and consistently take the long-term view and talk about taking the long-term view to try to convince people that I was indeed telling the truth. That doesn't mean I told everything I knew, but what I did say was the truth. Now, this is a radical way to play in the game diplomacy. And it only works if you can build a reputation. I was playing postal diplomacy at the time, and reputations did get built. So honor your alliances. Don't be stabby. That's the long-term view. And you can find other games where the long-term view is better. In particular, the obvious one, don't attack just because you can attack because in the long term, it might not be to your advantage. Or don't make such and such a move, don't buy such and such an item, just because you can, or because it'll advantage you in the short term, look at the long term view. Now, an extra advantage of the long term view in non-war games might be that you will look like you're in second or third place until toward the end when your long-term view kicks in and you get the advantage and you get first place. Now, game theory experiments have been conducted in simple games, the kinds of games that game theory uses, Prisoner's Dilemma and so on. And those have shown that a bot intended to be an honorable player is better in the long run than a bot that is intended to be uh, a not honorable player. In the long run, better, but in the short run, worse. Now, if you're playing a game that's all short run, then be stabby, do short term things. But if it's a long term game, as many, many games are, then it's better to take the long term view than the short term view. Thanks for listening.